Oh, but the spider is um, done. Goodbye. Oh. Yes! Got that? Did you get the footage? Yeah. That's the one that closed yesterday. Yeah, it closed cool. again. That was good. Huh? See you, spider. Did you get it closed? This, what we have here is a bog. Bog, you say? Bog? What's a bog? Well, I'll tell you what a bog is, since I said it four times. A bog is a very swampy area, a lot of heavy moisture. Um, the soil in a bog is not very nutritious. Nutritious? What do you eat, soil? No, it doesn't have a lot of nutrients. It's not very nutrient dense. Um, it has a very high acid content. So the plant life that grow in a bog actually have to find other ways to adapt. The moss is an amazing um, type of non-vascular plant that doesn't have a root system. It grows on top of other things. Like look at this moss right here. This is all types of moss. You got little moss here. This is a cool moss, ground moss. It grows right over the soil because it has no root system. It doesn't need it. And it just actually spreads through spores. Spores will spread. Uh, amazing plants that grow in bogs are Carnivorous plants. That's right, folks. Meat eating plants. Watch your fingers. No, just kidding. They will not attack you. Matter of fact, they don't really attack. They don't even know that they're consuming uh, other things. All they know is that their systems just know that they're in a soil system that doesn't have good nutrients. So they need nutrients. So where are they going to get that extra nutrient? The pitcher plant. Come close to the pitcher plant here. All right, if you look in the pitcher plant, uh, it's an amazing thing. It has a tube. Look at this one right here. Get a good shot. It goes right down the tube, okay, and right here. In the pitcher plant, there's a scent that's going to attract insects. The insect is going to go over to the pitcher plant, and it's going to look at these hairs. There's all these hairs. Can you zoom in on those hairs that are going in a downward pattern? There's water in the bottom of this. They're going to fall down, and they're going to drown in the bottom of that. When they drown in the bottom, there's also digestive acids in the plant, which is going to dissolve the insect, and it's going to go into the whole plant system itself. Now, that's to get the nutrients that it's lacking, because this soil in a bog, as we know, is not very nutrient. Uh, I'll show you the awesome, amazing attack of the alien plant. Get a little close up. This is the Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap has two leaf structures, as you can see, with a bunch of bristles or kind of like needle-like teeth, as you would say. They're not teeth, folks. They're two leaves. Matter of fact, if you put your finger in a Venus flytrap, it's not going to close on you. Well, it'll close on you, but it's not something that you, my finger stuck. Oh, God, no. That's definitely not the case. Um, these are just like a booby trap. They're just a trigger. They have no idea that it's happening. It's just natural. Uh, has this plant has evolved so that this these leaves close because there's a uh, once again the insect is attracted All right, I'm gonna trigger off one of these Venus fly traps as you can see and And I show you how it kind of closes there you go. So the insect just crawled in and it closed so it goes from something like this to this. Well, this is a closed Venus flytrap. Now you don't want to do this often because if there's nothing in the Venus flytrap and it's closed, then um, it uses too much energy and it'll turn black and die. For instance, let me show you a black dead one right here that closed and is left. Now it's just decomposing in the bog. Alright, so take an overshot of the bog. This is our bog, our carnivorous plant bog. Um, eating the insects of the world. Mmm, delicious. Alright, close this up.
closing. I'm not closing. I don't want to close. And I crawl right here, and what happens? I crawl right across the bear. <laughs> I crawl right across here. Okay, that didn't work. I'm a bug crawling on you, what do you do? You make me look like a fool in front of everybody. <laughs> well, let's go to this one. I crawl right across here. What happens when I crawl? What happens when I crawl across these places? Okay.